differentiate between decortication and decelebration. Uh, this is from the motor segment, and this is for vestibular operators differentiate between utricle and sacu. Uh, what is decelebration? Decelebration, as you know, is a complete transaction of brainstem. This is where it happens between the superior and inferior colliculus, uh, and this is where the uh, the the uh, all the all the descending tracts, motor tracts are passing through this area. When you cut this, uh, the brainstem pathways they become independent from any higher input, uh, and hence it's also called mid collicular decerebration. Uh, what hap what it does is uh, it interrupts all the input from the corticospinal and rutospinal tract. So these both tracts are lost uh, 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 their input to 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 the flex uh, distal flexors are lost. Okay, and so this is the loss, okay? Um, as a consequence, excitatory and inhibitory reticulospinal, i.e. whatever stuff is below the lesion from the brain stem, whatever is, is getting uh, down to the spinal cord, that, become, that remains intact. And in fact, it becomes exaggerated in its response. Hence, you have all sorts of rigidity in extension. Um, excitatory reticulospinal tract becomes overridden, which leads to hyperactivity, as I just mentioned, in extensors. In all four extremities, it's called decerebrate rigidity, i.e., extensor rigidity in all four limbs. So this is a snapshot of decerebration. Uh, uh, it 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 different. It's different from decortication in a in a bit, uh, in the sense that the lesion is above the lesion that is described here. Let me just show you. Uh, this is the level of lesion of decerebration. However, in decortication, uh, it is above that. So. Basically, the cerebral cortex, which is like an umbrella, uh, the lesion is just under it, and uh, it cuts all the cerebral cortex fibers, which are going down to the midbrain and lower uh, and and brainstem and so on. They are cut. So you can say that you have removed the cerebral cortex in this situation. Okay. Uh, the difference uh, you can read this in your own time. The difference is quite clear, and I've showed it in my lectures. This is the difference. Okay. Now, this is decortical, decorticate rigidity, and this is decerebrate rigidity. You can see that in the lower limbs, it's, it's pretty much the same. However, this is where the, the difference is. Why do we have decorticate? Uh, in, in why do we have flexion at the elbow in decorticate uh, posturing and not in decerebrate posturing? I'm 